you, thank you, children and home folks and kin folk, because nearly everybody in Washington is kin to me. <laughs> and my old man must have got around. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm glad to be at home. And I had my first real meal in months. <laughs> my niece cooked me some hog moan. <laughs> and some crackling cornbread. <laughs> and a few greens on the side. <laughs> talking to people that know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was up on 16th Street and picking to get the bus, you know, to come and work. And an old lady was standing with her little dog, you know, some rich old lady was standing with her little dog, you know, waiting for the bus. The bus came, she started on the bus. The man said, I'm very sorry, but you can't, they bring no dog on the bus. They don't lie dogs on the bus. She says, well, my little pee must go where I go. He's a very nervous dog, and I'm going to take my dog. She said, no, no, lady, you can't bring no dog on the bus. <laughs> oh, she raised Cain. She said, you know what you can do with your old bus, don't you? He said, yeah, you do the same thing with the dog, and you ride. <laughs> Speaking about riders, some of the gay boys hired a bus to go out for an outing last summer. Went down to get and said, you can take the bus and leave the drivers to us. been all over the world since I've been here. You wonder, say, wonder how come mom don't come home and play at home sometimes. Mom been done got citations from Carnegie Hall, gold records and things, but mom has been busy. I cut with my government because I love them. They, they had me going all over the world. So much trouble in the world in different parts of the world until I just been going straightening out this, straightening out that. You understand what I mean? Some of my hometown people been talking about me. They had even said that I'd pray. I'm not president. I'm not. But I don't like no old man. I don't give a damn what color he is. I want to go with Brooke Bitten as my business. <laughs> I'm married an old man and I was nothing but a child and he was dead as a donor. <laughs> Don't be like my old man was. I told him one day, I said, you're sick, why don't you take out some insurance? He said, I ain't going to take out a damn bit. <laughs> said, when I die, I want it to be a sad day for everybody. <laughs> His suspenders was bigger than he was. <laughs> and we, he was so weak, one day he went to pop his finger and broke his wrist. And a pancake and got locked jaw. <laughs> I said to him one day, I said, I'm, uh, I'm going, we were invited up in the country for the weekend. I said, you know anything about the country? He said, sure. <laughs> I know all about the country. In fact, I used to live in the country when I was a boy. I said, when you was a boy, everybody lived in the country.
<laughs> but man, you talk about a cat. Down at the Greyhound bus station, you know, this cat waiting for a bus to go to New York. He walk around the station, you see him on the middle of the machines, you know, like you put a dime in or a nickel in and get your fortune <laughs> told, you know, and also get your weight. So he went and stepped up on the scale, put a dime in, little card come out, say you are a Negro, your weight is 185 pounds, you are on your way to New York, your bus leaves in 20 minutes. <laughs> He said, can you beat that? <laughs> I know somebody looking in my pocket, knowing that much about my business. And he happened to look over and he saw an Indian standing in front of one of the cigar stands. You know, this Indian had all his head pieces and everything. He said, hey, Indian, say, come in a minute. Said, I'm going to see about this. Indian came over and said, here, here, I want to put a dime in there. Give me, give me see how much you weigh. Get up on them scales there. So the Indian got up on the scales, he put the dime in, card came out, says, you're an Indian, you're from the Cherokee tribe, your weight is 146 pounds, you'll soon be going back to the reservation. Indian looked at him and said, mmm, mmm. He said, well, I'm big doggone, I've seen, they tell me they got some, how did, the Indian, lend, lend me that thing you got on your head a minute in that blanket. <laughs> the, the cat took the headpiece and put it on his head, pulled it way down, <laughs> wrapped his blanket around him, way up around his ears, you know, like that. Tipped up on the scale, dropped a dime in, card came out, said, you're still a Negro. <laughs> Your weight is 165 pounds. You was on your way to New York, but you pulled around with that damn Indian and missed your bus. <laughs> on the corner the other night, you know, talking loud and drawing a crowd and beating up his gums, you know, one of the smart hip cats, you know. So the police come by, they gave him some big talk, and they locked him up for vagrants. And hip cat, one of these smart cats, you know. Next one went up in front of the judge. The judge said, where you work? He said, uh, here and now. <laughs> said, what do you do? I said, ah, this and that. <laughs> Judge say, when do you work? He said, ah, nine then. <laughs> Judge said, take him away, lock him up. He said, wait a minute, Judge, what you talking about? When am I going to get out of here? The Judge said, ah, sooner or later. <laughs> In doing my traveling around the world and everything, I took a trip down to talk to some of the officials, you know, of this movement that's going on now, down there. And after I left the meeting and went back to my hotel, I wrote an opera. And with the assistance of Luther, I will try to do the opera. Luther, the opera. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, Luther. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Listen at him. Luther! I said I wanted to shout. I said I wanted to sing an opera. Look, I don't know where he's been with me too long or ain't gonna be with me much longer. I don't know where. But somebody's got to go and it ain't gonna be me. 
ไปจึงข้างเทบายนี่มีหน่อยหนักแววลูต่อลูยูเชียเชียลูต่อเอ็นบังเซยิดดรอกเซยิดดรอกมีมาเป็นรอนะเบอลูซ่าวันเรียลอาพระดอลันเดอร์วันที่ดาร์โรสเอ็นบมคอมอนเลยแอปรายแอปราจะทำไมเออเว้ยเว้ยเมลูซ่า Would you change the lights on me please make me as sexy as you possibly can No I don't want you to make me look like I'm dead sexy darling that's it I look like Lena Horn. I know. I am here to tell the story of a right religious man who went down to face the Ku Klux with the Bible in his hand. He stands to fight for civil rights that spread throughout the land. And the kids are going marching on. Glory, glory, Martin Luther! Thank the Lord for Martin Luther. Things are better than they used to since the kids are marching on. Baby, Alabama. If you're not white, they couldn't care less. Don't worry about guns. I talk to police. The NAACP will get your release. <laughs> glory, glory, Martin Luther. Thank the Lord for Martin Luther. Things are much better. Than they used to, since the kids are marching on. Hello, here we go round the mud bed bush. Get that first in the dark to rush. Bring your dog, your ball, and bat, 'cause you'll be in jail in the morning. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, Larry, little kid. Don't be wary. Last one in jail to bury, like the usher in the corner. <laughs> We're as good as them. We know. The Constitution tells us so. They can't tell us where we belong, because we are right and they are wrong. Yes, Martin Luther loves us. Yes, Adam Powell loves us. Even down to the army loves us, 'cause the government told them to. Yeah. But if they gonna free us. Then why don't they go ahead and free us all the way? <laughs> Let 'em keep on saying what they're saying, and we'll just keep on praying. Come what may, who knows what the color under the skin is? Only a fool can say. But if they gonna free us, then why not go ahead and free us right away? <laughs> and I mean all the way. Don't <laughs> go down. 
go down, Bobby. Way down in Dixieland. Tell old Jim Crow to let my people go. You know, and my uncle got, I went down to see him, I always tried to see my folks. Got a farm down in Maryland, chicken farm, you know. He ain't been doing so good. No, he been, had to mix a little sawdust in with the brand that he fed the chickens, you know, to drive them, you know. I went down to see him, he was so glad. And the day I was down there, a man come by, that lucky man come by, Uncle said I was lucky to him. Man come by and ordered a hundred hens. And Uncle didn't have but 99. <laughs> he said, I ain't gonna miss this order. He said, I love this parrot, but this is one time he's going. He showed him in there with the 99 hens and mixed him all up, you know, so the man wouldn't notice him. <laughs> Load them on the back of the truck and the man paid him. The man got on the road about five miles. He looked back, and all the hens was walking. <laughs> walking! <laughs> Old parrot standing on the back of the truck. He said, well, you know, as soon as you make up your mind, you girls can ride. <laughs> The youth and things, the youth is my friend, I love them. I love all young people. I do, that's the truth. You all call them the niggas, but they ain't to me. They love mom, but they'll keep you if you miss them. You know, because they know I dig them. Atomic age with an atomic mind. Don't worry about these children, because they no need to worry about them. You done lied to them now. Too late? Let them go ahead. Let somebody talk to them who knows what's happening, because you don't. <laughs> and you don't go nowhere to find out. <laughs> That's the way that is. Got a book here that I want my children to buy. I'm going to put on all the stands so my teenagers can get it. Bring me a chair, son. Mom got to get tired. Mom wants to sit down. Oh, thank you. You look very nice. <laughs> How old are you? That's old enough. <laughs> this is much better. I'm tired of standing up here. Got to sit down sometime. Hmm. What you peeping at, son? <laughs> Yeah, I got lace on them, too. <laughs> mom, mom know the mother goose book. I'm tired of y'all lying to each other. This time child gets big enough to ask you something, you be big enough to tell the truth about it. Won't be no thing to Things do now. Did children dig my mint mom? Mom dig them. Cause they the ones buy my record. Now watch the Jeff ain't one gonna buy them records. Cause they know what I'm talking about. Hey, these old people don't know about what I'm talking about. <laughs> they don't sit there and rock and talk about each other so long. They don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I get to digging myself, I ain't got time to dig nobody else. <laughs> Try setting some down sometime and just dig in yourself. 
And see how much time you, you have to do of trying to meddle in somebody else's business. And it, I wrote this book in here. I ain't got time out of the best of here telling you children jokes. I ain't got time to read it all to you, but I want to read you the one about little Cindy Ella. You all called it little Cinderella in that lying book that you all got. <laughs> Once upon a time in a little southern town, way down south, lived a little girl named Cindy Ella. She had long black hair, pretty brown eyes, pretty brown skin. Well, let's face it, she was colored. <laughs> Little Cindy Ella dressed very shabby because she had to use her money to pay the note on her boyfriend's Cadillac. <laughs> she worked for a mean, mean, mean old woman and her two ugly daughters. <laughs> ugly. 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 They were so ugly until they had a dishonorable discharge from the White Citizens Council. <laughs> One day the mean old woman and her ugly daughters got an invitation to a prom dance. It was the biggest dance of the season. That was the time that they usually picked Miss Kukla Clan. <laughs> the mean old woman and her two daughters left for the dance. Little Cindy Ella wanted to go, but she knew it was impossible. So she sat down and started crying. Just about that time, a knock came on the door. And guess who it was? Her friend, Bobby Kennedy. He had two magic wands in his hand. The Constitution and the Civil Rights Bill. He said, little girl, why are you crying so hard? She said, because I want to go to the prom dance at the University of Mississippi because my boyfriend James Meredith goes to school there. <laughs> One wave of the magic wand and her raggedy dress had turned into a beautiful white lace dress. On her pretty black hair, she had a pretty blue ribbon. She looked down at her feet and her shoes had turned to golden glass slippers. She went over to the mirror and be, to her surprise, she had turned as white as snowy bleach. <laughs> she said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror said, snow white, and don't you forget it. wave of the magic wand and she looked out the window and there was a gold coach with a white horse and a white chauffeur. <laughs> Little Cindy all started out the door and Bobby said be sure and be back by 12 o'clock. <laughs> Little Cindy Ella was having such a good time at the dance, all the men wanted to dance with little Cindy Ella. And all at once she forgot what time it was. The clock struck twelve. Her beautiful white dress had turned to rags. 
Her bow on her head turned to a stocking cap. <laughs> she looked down and her gold slippers had turned to sneakers. <laughs> she looked out the window and her coach had turned to a wagon and a beautiful white house to her old nag. And her chauffeur had turned to pig meat. <laughs> Everybody was gazing on the floor at poor little Cindy Ella, the little colored girl, <laughs> dancing with the president of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> this story is to be continued. A trial comes up next month. People always tell me, Mom, how come you live? It looks so good, cause I live good. <laughs> That's right. A lot of old women try to live like me, but they don't know how. <laughs> you understand what I mean? They naturally don't know how to live. <laughs> Some old woman come to me crying, talking about, huh, I've got me a young man too, but he told me he loved me. That, that was right then showed you the square. <laughs> Love you for what? <laughs> you look like a crossword puzzle. <laughs> I done give up all of our money and everything. I said, let me tell you something. Any time that the beat start costing more than the fish. <laughs> Stop fishing. <laughs> I'm, a lot of people say, Mom, well, uh, you still with Brooke? Yes, until next year, he knows that. <laughs> The deadline is next year, he'll be 29. <laughs> Too old for me. <laughs> in time you see me in a man over 23, he's one of my relatives. <laughs> no. If you're gonna live, live. If you ain't, go on ahead and die, you're better off. <laughs> a junkie was walking down 7th Street with a live monkey on his back. <laughs> I have to pay five. He said, lady, will you please get this cat out from under me? <laughs> Man bought a paw pad home to his wife. She's nearsighted anyhow, you know. Hey, and she and she went and put it in the stove and cooked it. Wrote, Man come in and say, where are my parrot? She said, what parrot? <laughs> Where's that bird in there? That's a parrot. Oh, it's in the stove, in the oven. <laughs> said, that parrot is priceless. That parrot can talk. I said, if he could talk, he should have said something. <laughs> Oh yeah, I meant to tell you about the four boys, the quartet, three white boys and a, one of us. <laughs> Man, they had a quartet, played all over the country. All over the country, them boys did. Everybody crazy about them. Man, they got a quartet. Can sing. And uh, everywhere they go, look like they want to sing Home on the Range. Home, home on the rain. Said so he went down in Mississippi. 
soon as it opened up, man, all the audience comes to hollering, home on the range, home on the range. So they start singing, home, home on the range. And they look around, the color fellow wasn't saying. Say, hey, man, you sing lead bass. What's the matter, man? Come on. You know the song is a theme song. You all know it. Home, you know home on the range. Where the deer and the antelope play. Color fellow say, yeah, but I think I heard a discouraging word. Children, indeed I do. Will I miss you? Oh my, will I? Children, indeed I do. I'm glad that I'm the one that found you. That's why I like to hang around you. Will I love you? Oh my, will I? Honey, play the song, love. 